Johnny, thanks for joining us. We've got some questions from Mike in the Rugby Facebook group. Some weird and wonderful, but we'll, we'll see how we go. First of all, Joe Herbert asks, who would win a 100 metre race in the current England squad? It's difficult. I'm definitely not going to say, oh, I'm going to win that. But um, I'd like to think that I'd be one of, one of the faster guys in the squad. But we've got lots of fast people. We've got Chris Ashton, Jack Knowles, Yarl, Anthony Watson. So maybe we'd make a good 4 by 100 metre relay team. You run 100 metres ever, though, that sort of thing uh, in training? Yeah, my best is a 10-7. Um, I ran that in the summer. That was actually the next question from Joe Daniel. So what was your 100 metre PB? Yeah, 10-7, but I do feel quicker at the moment. I think that was after the Argentina tour. I didn't get much training before that. So I think if I had a good crack at it, I could, I could get that down. I'm feeling quick at the moment. Dean Wilson asks, who is the hardest tackler you've ever come up against? Tackler? Oh, well, easy one. Um, Tui Tupo. I played in the sentence quite a lot for Gloucester and he definitely hit me a couple of times and it felt like being run over by a car. So um, no, he's a tough guy. Paul Carter asks, who is your favourite wing of all time and why? Um, well, it's probably Joan Lomo, isn't it? Because I was just in awe of him when I was a kid in terms of the fact that every time he got the ball, he seemed to run over everyone and score. So you know, he's, he's a world-class player. Adrian Twig asks, how is your nose? <laughs> um, it's still big and bent, so not much has changed there. Um, it, and to be fair, it's holding up well. It's not, it's not as sore. It was quite sore in the Scotland game, but I didn't seem to notice it as much in the Ireland game. And I've had two weeks since then, so I'm, I'm not, not too worried about it at the moment. Dean Sutcliffe asks, how much of an impact does playing at Twickenham have on you as a player? I think it brings out the best in me. I think I'm living on, living on instincts, which is the way I like to play because of the, the rush of the adrenaline adrenaline and obviously with the fans getting behind you it's just a real special occasion. Sam Bate asks how do you go up through the levels to become an England rugby player from the age of 14? I think he's asking what's your pathway been to get here today? I think everybody has a diff different pathways it's, it's definitely not an easy one I think there's setbacks and, and, and challenges along the way but as long as you keep, keep strong with it and just relentless in terms of keep practicing keep showing up to trainings keep putting yourself out there trial here Playing, playing as many games as you can and, and eventually you'll get an opportunity. Connor Siddle asks, do you like bacon? Because everyone likes bacon, right? Yeah, I like bacon. You don't get much shit around England camp, mate. No, chicken and broccoli for breakfast, unfortunately. Final question from Chris McNulty. Why do you play with your socks pulled down? I don't know. Well, two reasons. Is, I know it might sound strange, but when you pull them up, they tend to fall down anyway. So it just saves time. And secondly, I've, I feel like my calves feel heavy when I've got the sock. Some, the socks nowadays are quite tight. But they stay up and they feel like it. If it makes my cast feel a bit heavy, so those are the two reasons. Cheers, Johnny. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.